<laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, this is Bill, and I'm sitting here with Bob, and he Bob is the park attendant here uh, at the campground that we are currently staying at, which is Outlet Recreation Area on beautiful Blue Mountain Lake in Arkansas. In Arkansas, and I. We're kind of sort of west central Arkansas. Is that about where we are, Bob? Yeah. Pretty close? Yeah. 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 Uh, but anyway, uh, Bob was telling me a story about some fishermen here during a bass tournament. Bass Is that tournament? Right? Yeah. And um, rather than me try to uh, tell you what happened, we're just going to let Bob tell you the story right quick. Well, they come in to check their fish in, and there's a cliff right here behind us, and they were fishing that cliff, the bank, and they said they coming down through there and they saw this squirrel come down the hill and go back up. The directly come back down and went back up. The directly come down again said he jumped out on a limb and said he got that acre. And just as he jumped back across it a big old bass just jumped up there and got him. But Wow. Said that wasn't the amazing <laughs> part. Said they're sitting there in awe, you know, and said directly they seen ripples on the water. Said here come that bass put another acre on that limb. <laughs> Now that has got to be one of the wildest fish stories I ever heard. That's a bass fisherman that, for uh, you. There you go. There you go. <laughs> but anyway, and now your your last name starts with an S, and your first name is Bob. So yes, your sir. initials are B S. <laughs> <laughs> so when you come, if you come over here, see us. See, look for B S. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> if you have, if y'all ever come to camp at uh, Outlet Recreation Area on beautiful uh, Blue Mountain Lake in Arkansas. Uh, this is the gentleman that will end up checking you in, most likely, and he is a hoot, let me tell you. We really had a blast visiting with Bob. So anyway, uh, we just thought we'd share that story with you. Thank you so much, Bob, for that story. You're welcome. Thank okay. You. Isn't Bob a hoot? Bob was something else. I knew <laughs> he was a character because when we checked in that day. Yeah. And yeah. then every time we visited with him, he was more and more fun. Yeah. <laughs> he stopped by to visit us at our, our campsite and uh, just tell one joke after another all the time. Yeah, the guy was just hilarious. Just just hilarious. We really, really enjoyed our visits with His Bob. His wife was nice, too. Oh, yeah, very nice. But she didn't want to be on camera, no, did she? she was no. shy. She was shy. <laughs> and I understand that. Yeah, we do. But uh, I guess they've been there park attendants for quite some time. I think she told me five years. Wow. Five years as park attendants there. And it's a year thing yeah because they're open all year round down there at this one so, where we were yeah anyway and the campground that we were staying at was on a be beautiful blue mountain lake in central arkansas to give you an idea of where it is in relation to little rock uh, i'll post a photo of um, google maps right here this will give you a rough idea of where we were and uh, I'm sure they're looking at that right now. I'm sure. Yeah, cool. All right. And, uh, but technically our campground where we were at was Outlet Park. Park. And Outlet Park is technically actually on the river just below the dam. Uh, now this. And they have the right bank and the left bank. That's correct. I, I forgot that about opposite. that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and we stayed on the right bank, and all the numbers are so-and-so R or so-and-so L, Right. if I remember, like yes. 33R or 33L, which of course meant either the right bank or the left bank. And to get in there, you had to take a different access road to get into either side. Right. So, but uh, the side that we were on, and here again, it was just uh, a fortunate situation for us, but we think it was the most beautiful side yes. with the much nicer campsites uh, our better side shade. was yeah better shade <laughs> gorgeous and like i say we were on the river the area that we were in it was really really nice the uh, mm -hmm. the road was a nice level flat road we went on a bicycle ride every Which morning made it excellent for bike riding now yeah. it wasn't a real long i don't even know because we didn't ever clock how long oh it was. maybe a quarter mile but we did three laps a day. Mm -hmm. um, oh, we did like 20 laps oh, a day. Whatever. Right. <laughs> yeah, it was 20 miles long and we made it in it 20 times every day. Whatever. Yeah, and it only took like 15 minutes, right? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> but but it, was, it was nice and level. Yes. And uh, very little traffic yes. on our side of the river. Yeah, very little. Um, 
course, it filled up over the weekend as mm -hmm. normal. Mm -hmm. And uh, but during the week, man, we practically had the whole campground to ourselves. Yeah, there were yeah. like three other campers there. Um, our favorite spots. Do you want to talk about that now? Sure. We'll go ahead. Let's mention those right now. Our favorite spots on that side, and you have a list. We, um, we stayed at thirty three, which uh -huh. was perfect as far Absolutely. as I'm. It was nice and level and long and backed up against the pine trees, so we had lots of shade. I had electric and water at the site. The one next to us, 34, was also awesome. Mm -hmm. Then we started looking, 32 was good, 31, 30, and 29. So our, so our spots that we recommend, if you were to go to Outlet Recreation Area on uh, just below the dam on Blue Mountain Lake, in central Arkansas. On the right bank. Uh, and it'd be on the right bank. These are all, um, there should be an R beside that or, or R33. I think it was 33RB. Okay. Right bank. I didn't know what RB stood for okay. when I made the reservation. Well, let's run through those numbers one more <laughs> okay. time for them. It's 33, 34, 32, 31, 30, and 29. And, um, those were all nice and level, nice long level pads. They all have a 50 amp service, I'm pretty sure, yes. with water at the site. And this campground is open all year round, right. by the way, too. Yes. And uh, heavily wooded, lots of pine trees. There was lots of shade throughout the day. And again, all of the uh, the picnic tables on those sides especially had their, their had a, cover. a really neat cover over them. So yeah. we like so that So even if well. it's raining, you can sit out there and, yeah. you know, so it makes it really nice. Now, Another great highlight of our week was we had visitors. Yeah. We had Tony and Michelle came out to yeah. see us. And they uh, they happened to catch our live feed that we did up on top of uh, the overlook, you know, overlooking Blue Mountain Lake. And they they don't live too awful far from that area. They recognize where we were, so they messaged us, messaged us, <laughs> and said, "Hey, uh, why don't we come? We'd like to come by and visit." And we said, "Absolutely." We absolutely. love that, by the yeah, way. Yeah, we do love that. We do love that. So we had a wonderful visit with Tony and Michelle. They were uh, there for quite some time. Yes. That afternoon, and uh, Tony is uh, looking at doing his own build before too awful long. So of course he had lots of questions about that. And I guess Michelle had a lot of questions for you as well. well. She did because, you know, women have a little bit different viewpoint. So we had a nice little conversation about that. What do you mean women have a little bit different well, viewpoint? Well, the, 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 I don't want to say the woman's function in the home, but <laughs> how I cooked and how I, and our Berkey, and she just had some really good, she'd been thinking. Well, I do have to say. I do have to say, you know, and, and I know I'm speaking for other guys when I say this, I can look in the fridge and I don't see anything to eat at all. And I'll just mention to Deb that I'm hungry. And next thing I know, she's knocking on the window because I'm outside. So she lets me know when lunch is ready or whatever. So she knocks on the window and that's my, my cue. And I come in here and like I say, there was nothing in the fridge at all. But man, there's this elaborate dish waiting for me. Uh, where in the heck did you come up with all the stuff to do that? It's magic. It's <laughs> <laughs> magic. But anyway, we really enjoyed our visit with uh, with uh, Tony. Tony and Michelle. And we hope to see you again soon someday, Tony. And we hope to meet you guys on the road someday. Absolutely. Yeah, with, your, uh, <laughs> with your conversion that you're fixing to get started on. Now, Blue Mountain Lake is not a... Uh, is to hear again it's not what you call a water sports lake it is primarily a fishing lake it was originally put in to control flooding mm -hmm. on the pettit river right pettit gene pettit gene, pettit gene river let's pettit get this gene. correct excuse me please uh <laughs> anyway pettit gene river uh, well we want to make sure that if locals are watching we want to make yes, sure we say I'm, it correctly I'm for the so locals sorry. yeah i agree 100 <laughs> so anyway um but um uh, lots of fishing went on there, both on the river and on the lake itself. Now, uh, you didn't really see a lot of boats on the lake, and we had a beautiful spot, a beautiful overlook there, and, and that's where we shot the video for Bob. But I got a, we got a lot of great shots from that spot. I it mean, was beautiful. beautiful and and view. that's where we had to go to get internet. And, right. or cell phone service up at the top and there we could sit there and look at this beautiful view and I think we yeah. even did a live show there oh yeah yeah we did a live we did a live mm -hmm. feed from up there 
Yes, but so it was uh, awesome. Yeah, and consequently, because it was so pretty up there, we we did a we took a lot of uh, a lot of uh, uh, photographs and and a few little short videos here and there. Only twice did we see someone out there either skiing or tubing. Right, and most of it was fisher. They and were days very apart. Fishermen. Yeah. They did. Right. Well, I'm sure they had other places. And I guess they cost baths there because. Well, because of the story. <laughs> because of Bob's story. <laughs> right. Now, uh, there was a lot of fishing going on also on the riverside, and we didn't get any good photos of that. But man, they pulled out some huge catfish out of there. Yes. Yeah. It's uh, yes. Uh, there was one boy, a young boy, that pulled out a catfish, and then the fish was as big as he was. Yes. Yeah. He was so <laughs> excited. Oh and yeah. And also, one of them caught a gar. Yeah. And yep. one of those with the long snouts. Yeah, right. <laughs> the snout was as uh, long as the fish. <laughs> yeah, thereabouts. But uh, while we were there also, we also visited uh, Mount Magazine, which is the tallest peak in Arkansas. In Arkansas. It's I think it's somewhere around 2,700 feet. 2,753. Ah. And up at the very top is a lodge. Beautiful. I understand since then that you can actually walk through the lodge and see the view out the back side, but yeah. we did not do that because no, we, we're not a paying guest, so we didn't no. feel comfortable. We, yeah. My we, daughter yeah. says there's an excellent restaurant in the lodge. We did not go to it because we're just not doing that yet. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was beautiful. Oh, it was absolutely gorgeous beautiful from views. up there, yeah, even as you were driving by. And uh, as we were driving down the road, you know how you see deer crossing signs? We saw bear crossing signs but we never saw a bear never saw a bear Darn it. at least the signs were there so they knew where to walk and you read somewhere where the largest bear population in arkansas is mount magazine. on Ma Ma mount magazine yes yeah. and of course they had all the bear proof trash cans and things like that and up at the very top by the lodge mm -hmm. not too far from the lodge was the state park campground right because magazine mount magazine is considered a state park mm-hmm and it was a really pretty campground. Yeah, it was a pretty campground. Uh, all heavily wooded, you know. Uh, of course, no water excess. And there wasn't any real great views from the campground no, either. You'd have to go pretty. somewhere else to get those. Um, I didn't really shoot any video because I was kind of caught off guard by that when we got up there. <laughs> and what little uh, driving video I shot while we were up there got inadvertently deleted. Bill was trying to clean up his files. <laughs> cleaned up too much. I cleaned up too many <laughs> files. I cleaned up too many files. But anyway. Um, did we but, enjoy our stay there? Oh, we it was a wonderful stay. But I do want to say that we did get some beautiful shots from the overlook up there. As the uh, evening was settling in, we were back at the overlook across the lake. Beautiful sunset. Yeah, we had beautiful sunsets there. And I got a shot, and I'm, hopefully you're seeing it right now. If you look real closely, and this is as the sun was going down, you could see the lights on the lodge up on top of right. the mountain. And the sky turned what my sister calls sky blue pink. Yeah. yeah. I got a <laughs> shot of that. Hopefully you're looking at that right and now. It was a beautiful thing. And yeah. then one day we did actually go down and put our kayaks in. Yeah, we did. Yeah, um, we did. And went, we had the whole lake to ourselves. And mainly because, here again, they had cypress trees growing out of the water. And I have never... I've seen it from the highway, like when we're down in the south, but I had never actually seen it and been able to get up close. They had a had an island just out there in kind of the middle of the lake, and we paddled out to this island and paddled around the island, and it was pretty much surrounded almost all the way around with these cypress trees. There was even a couple of spots where we could kayak in between them. And, and it was them. really, to yeah. me, it was really cool. It was something unique and different that we had never never yeah. done before. And we really enjoyed it. We yes. really enjoyed our day on the water there. In fact, do you know of anything else we need to mention while we're here right quick? I think we just want to say that it's a great campground. The camp host is awesome. Yeah. And uh, if you're just looking for a place to relax and if you fish, it's perfect. We did shoot some video while we were kayaking out yes. there. Uh, I think maybe what we ought to do is show them the video. Of, of kayaking around all those beautiful cypress trees and everything. This is Bill and Deb with I Ride Tiny House Adventure saying, we're not camping. We're living. We hope you enjoy the kayaking video. Stay tuned. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye now. Bye.